Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest video. I'm really excited to be able to share in this video with you the Brother Design and Craft Full Colour Label Printer. And I'm going to be showing you how it works and how I've created a spread in both my Traveller's Notebook and also inside my Bullet Journal. And I'm really excited to have this opportunity to work with Brother and share with you all the different ways that I've found to be able to use this so far. So I really hope you enjoy watching the video and the two different journal spreads that I will be creating. I will of course leave the printer link down below along with a discount code that you can use to receive £10 off during the whole month of November. I'm starting off by ejecting the tape roll that's currently in the printer and swapping it over for the 50mm wide cassette. And there are five different rolls ranging from 9mm right up to this widest one which is 50 and I'll be using the Colour Label Editor app, which I've installed on my phone to be able to create all of the different designs. Once I've checked that the correct tape width is selected, I'm going to my photo section. Because this journal spread is going to be about the weekend that my daughter first came home from university, I really wanted to include a couple of photos that I'd taken of her at the beach. So I'm dragging that photo onto the width of the tape. And I'm just expanding it to the size that I want. And I want to have a white border around the outside so that it looks a little bit like a Polaroid photo. Once I'm happy with the positioning of the photo, I'm going to drag the length of the tape to make sure that it fits nicely around the photo. One of the things that I really like about this printer is the fact that you can choose the size of the photo that you want to print. And now that I'm happy with it, I've sent it wirelessly to print to the printer. And you'll see that it comes out really easily and you slide your finger across the top to cut. And this comes out on sticky paper, ready to add straight into your journal. On the Colour Label Editor app, there are lots of different filters that you can use so that you can play with the colours or decide to print in black and white and really have fun with the look of your photos. I decided that I wanted to print out a second photo for my journal. So I'm going through exactly the same process. I'm going to find the photo that I'm looking for. And it's another one of my daughter on the beach climbing up on the rocks. So I'm going to rotate that photo and get it to the size that I want. I'm using my iPhone, which has iOS software, and you can also use Android devices. I really like the ability to be able to print the photos straight from my phone. So I'm now just printing off that second photo and again swiping along the top to cut it. And I'm really happy with how those photos are looking. So I'm now going to change over the cassette roll again. And it's really easy, you push the eject button take one tape out and just slot the other one straight in the back and it's not fiddly to do at all which was a real relief. I'm now using the 19mm width tape and you'll find on the app that there's lots of art already there. So I'm looking through the lace trim section as I want to create some strips that look like washi tape. And I find a design that I really like and I think will fit in well with the theme of my journal pages. So you just grab it and put it on the width of your tape and you can start expanding it until you get it to the size that you like. And once I'm happy with that, you can use another function which is called stamp to keep replicating that image. So I'm dragging the tape along because I want it to be a nice long strip 
I'm then just going to copy that image and drag it along. And it's a really nice way of being able to create your own designs to the exact length that you want. Once I'm happy with it, again, I just send it to print. And I nearly always use two strips of matching washi tape, so I'm going to do the same with this and print off two strips of this tape. And I really, really like the look of that design. This printer doesn't use ink cartridges because it has Zinc Zero Ink technology. And I don't know exactly how that works, but I know that the colour is already in the label somehow. And I think that that's a really great feature that you don't have to worry about ink cartridges running out. Because I'm going to be journaling about the trip to the beach with my daughter, I thought it'd be great to add a sticker which ties in with the theme. And I really liked this starfish, I thought it was absolutely adorable. So I'm just moving it around to get the size that I want. And again, I'll drag that tape back so that it's not too long. And it's another thing that I really like about this printer with the app that you've got so much artwork already included. So you can print off your own stickers and washi tape effect strips as often as you like. I'm really happy with how that seahorse is looking and I think it's gonna make a great addition to my journal spread. The next tape that I'm going to use is the 9mm width and this is the narrowest tape in the range. And I think this one works really well for the thin strips of washi tape effect. I've gone back into the colour label editor app and I'm going to start looking through that art section again. And the category that I choose is the Seasons one. And it's got so many lovely pieces of art in here. I definitely think it's one of my favourite categories. You've got ranges of trees, leaves, flowers and all sorts of different bugs. And the image that I choose to use for this design is one of a butterfly. Once I'm happy that I've got the butterfly the right size, I'm going to use that stamp function again and just keep pushing it until I've got the amount of butterflies I want. And I want quite a long strip of tape, so I've expanded that a bit further and then I've added some more butterflies. Once I'm happy, I just send that to print. I love using anything which enables me to add more decorative elements to my journal and this is something I know that I'm just going to use over and over again because it has so many different options. Once both of these tapes have printed off I'm going to add one final element to my pages and that's two strips of typed font. I'm starting off by typing out the date that we went to the beach. And once I've got that all in, I decide to add a different coloured background. And there's lots of options for different patterns, but I decided to go for one block colour of black. I then changed my font to white and also picked a different style. And I really like that effect. I think it will add to the vintage style of my journal pages. Using that same style, I then type out the words, such a perfect weekend. And that gives me the two strips of type font that I want to be able to add to my journal pages. Once I've got everything printed out, I'm going to start creating my pages in my standard size traveler's notebook journal. And I'll be using a plain insert for that. If you've been following me for a little while, then you'll know that my daughter recently started university. And when she came back for the weekend, one of the things she really wanted to do was go to the beach because she'd missed the sea. So these pages are gonna be all about documenting that weekend. 
So I've started off by using those long stickers and added them down the side of my page like washi tape. And I'm now going to use this thin strip of butterflies along the bottom. And as it's slightly too long, I'm cutting off two of the butterflies and I'll use that later on in my journal spread. I will then add the other matching strip of tape to the top right hand page to balance it all out. We were so lucky that weekend that my daughter came home. The weather was really, really lovely. It'd been a bit stormy, but it was a great time to go down to the beach and have a really good look around. I'm now gonna add that black label to the top with the date on it. The next thing I'm going to do is add those two photos to my page and as normal I like to add a little bit of collage underneath them. So I'm using this ledger paper and just tearing up the edges for that rough effect. And I will also add some old printed pages underneath too. Once I'm happy with how those are looking I'll use some Pritt stick to glue them onto my page. I'm now going to add the photo straight on top and peel them off the sticky backing. And I'm going to position the two photos so that they just slightly overlap each other. And I thought that that corner in the middle would be a great place to add that little starfish. Right above the photos, I'm adding that sticker that says such a perfect weekend. And I'm now going to add those two little butterflies onto each of the black strips. The next thing I'm going to do is use a pigment liner to draw a zigzag border around the blank bits of the outside of the page. Now that most of the decorative elements have been added, I'm going to move on to the journal writing. And the first thing I'm going to do is use a Tombow Fudimisuki brush pen for the lettering. And I'm going to write out the words, always remember moments like these. I'm missing my daughter like crazy again now she's gone back to university but I'm just so lucky to have had the chance to have this lovely weekend with her and I'm so happy to have been able to write all about it on my journal pages. I decided that I wanted to break up that left hand page with some stamping so I use these leaf stamps along with a brown ink. But I have to say I really wasn't happy with how they were looking. And maybe then it was a fortunate accident that when I started my journal writing, I also managed to smudge this stamping. But I decided to leave this bit in the video to share with you how I later go on and fix those smudges. And I end up being much happier with how the pages are looking. So it's at this point I realise that I've started to smudge the ink and I just put a piece of paper temporarily over the top to make sure I don't smudge it any further. So I'm now just adding my journal writing all about that weekend. And I liked how that page looked so much there that I then tore that out and stuck it right over the top. And I really like how it goes onto the next page as well. And at the end of the journal writing, I'll come back and stamp right over the top. Now that that journal writing is finished, I'm going to go and use those same stamps and ink pads again. And I'm gonna stamp on top of the book page and also one on the right hand side. And I'm gonna show you one other final thing that I did. When I'd first been trialling out the printer, 
I'd used a photo of my journals and added a border and I thought that would make a really nice addition to the front of this journal insert. I'm so happy with how these pages turned out documenting my daughter's weekend at home. I'm now going to share with you how I created my weekly layout in my bullet journal. So I'm starting off by typing out the headings that I always use, which are events, meals, tasks, habits and next week. So I tried out a few different font styles until I got one that I was happy with. And I then decided to add one of the images from the art section of this lovely tree. And I think it just looks so beautiful and it just really ties in for a lovely theme on my bullet journal pages. So I've moved that along to the side of the word events. And once I'm happy with the size of it, I will print that out. I then go through the same process for all of the other labels that I need. And one of the great things is that once you've got all of the sizing and the font size sorted out that you want to use, it's really, really quick and easy to print out all of the other headings in exactly the same style. The only label that I had to adjust slightly was for the one that says next week because it's slightly longer. So I just dragged that tape along and moved the tree a little bit so that I could get it all in the right position. Now that those are all printed out, I'm going to swap over the tapes for the 25mm wide one, ready for my next design. I just thought I'd show you here on the library, all of those designs are there waiting for me. So next time I want to create something in my journal, they're all there, which will make it really quick and easy. So I now want to create some more tape that looks like washi. So the first thing I'm doing is picking a background. And I change the color to this yellow so that the geometric pattern really stands out. And I then decided to add some art images over the top. And I went with these lovely green leaves. So I get it to the right size and then I'll use that stamp function to add lots of leaves. And I thought it'd look good if some of them were slightly offset. So I've dragged some up and some down to just rearrange the pattern slightly. I know that I want the tape to be slightly longer because I'm using that measuring guide along the top. So I'm going to drag it out and then add more of the leaves so that I've got a whole completed pattern. And once I'm happy with how everything's looking, I will print off two copies of this design. I love that there are so many options to change the backgrounds and the colours and which art you add over the top. It'd be really easy to create some pages all following the same theme, but looking slightly different by just choosing some different colours. And I'm really happy with how those strips are looking. I know that I'm going to use these strips of tape along the top of my bullet journal pages. And I also want to create some to go along the bottom. So I'm leaving the length exactly the same and deleting the leaves. I decided that it'd be really nice to have some tape along the bottom with those same trees on that I've used on the headings and that will tie everything in really nicely together. So I'm just going to use that stamp function again and add lots of trees along the whole length of the tape. And I'm then sliding along to make sure that I get them all in the positions that I want them. Once I've got all of the trees in place, I decided that I wanted to change the background. So initially I changed it to white just so that I could check the positioning of all of the trees. 
And once I'm happy with that, I went back in and picked a completely different background for this tape. And I thought the tree stood out really nicely on this. Because you're using a continuous roll of tape rather than anything pre-cut, I love that you can choose the length of the designs that you decide to print out. I'm now really happy because I've got all of the strips of design that I need for my bullet journal pages. So the final thing I'm going to do is use some of the artwork in the app to create something that looks like stickers. And I decided that I would use those same leaves that I added to the very first washi tape design. And once I've got it to the size that I want, I'm just going to print off three of these so that I've got them all ready to add to my bullet journal pages. I love that there are so many different artwork elements included in this app and later on in the video I'll be sharing with you some of the other designs that I've already printed ready to use in my journal. So before I start creating my bullet journal pages I thought I'd just share with you quickly again those designs that are saved in your library. So I go back to the butterfly washi tape strip and it's there ready for me to print out again or if I wanted I could edit it and choose a completely different background. So now that all of that's done I'm going to get on and create the weekly spread inside my bullet journal. For these pages I'm using a dotted A5 notebook and the first thing I'm doing is drawing out all of my boxes. And each of my boxes are 12 dots wide and I count down two dots for the heading and then four dots for every day. And this is the same layout that I use every week in my bullet journal because I find it just works really well for me. So I'm using a black pigment liner to draw these out. And I'm then adding my columns and boxes to my right hand page too. As I know there's quite a lot of green elements that I've printed out, I'm using a green Tombow brush pen to add some highlights to those boxes. I'm now going to add those strips of tape that look like washi to both the top and the bottom of both of the pages. Unfortunately, I'd measured them correctly and they fit in really, really nicely. And I'm then adding a label that I printed that says November right over the top. Once I've got those added to my pages, I decide to stick the headings in. So this is where I record my events for the week, the meals that I've eaten, my tasks, along with healthy habits that I want to track and also a box where I can record any tasks for the next week. And I'm now using a Tombow green brush pen to add in the days of the weeks and the dates. I also add the letters B, L, S and D onto my meal side. And this is for my breakfast, lunch, snacks and dinner. And I also write in the days of the week on my habit tracker, where I track exercise, water intake, meditation and healthy eating. With that all done, the final thing that I'm going to do is add these leaf stickers. So I'm going to cut around them and place them for decoration on my pages. And I'm really happy with how quick and easy it was to set up my bullet journal for the new week. Before I finish off this video, I said that I'd share with you some of the other designs that I've printed. And there's some really great ones in there. So I've printed off some smaller photos of my journals. 
I also used the animal alphabet to print out my name, along with some Christmas decorations, some for birthdays and these great ones for Halloween. I also took a photo of these doodles that I created and I've printed them out so I can use them straight away as stickers into my journal. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and don't forget I will leave a link for the printer down below along with the discount code that you can use throughout the month of November. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one.